Welcome to the Crypto Hippo YouTube channel. My name is Shiler and I'm a technical analyst in the crypto markets. I focus on an Elliott Wave style of trading. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. I do daily videos, uh, usually twice a day. I do live streams in the afternoons, uh, six days out of the week. And then I do trade setups in the mornings, pre-recorded, and then I dish those out. So with that being said, if any of that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. In this video, however, we're going to be dealing with uh, the Kraken Exchange, and we're going to be going over the conditional close. I'm going to be showing you guys um, what the uh, settle position uh, button does, and then I'm also going to take you guys through how to open up a long position and a short position at the same time um, on Kraken, and basically, you know, you can use that for different styles of strategies uh, or techniques from there. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into that. We're going to tuck me down there in the corner. So, I've got Kraken Exchange up here. You can see that we've got our buy sells. You do need a, a basic understanding of the platform already and I've done videos on that and tutorial videos walking you through how to do the uh, short sell and leverage trading and so forth so check out that video I'll link it in, in, up here in the corner if you haven't seen that already uh, that would be the first one to go check out and then move into this one which uh, deals with some more um, buttons here that you can go into so one of those is going to be we're going to basically set a buy order first so we can do this uh, from a limit standpoint. I'm just going to do small amounts here so we can just close in and out and I'll actually do and execute the live trades here in this video. So um, we're going to do that price at, let's see, 9294. Get rid of the six. There we go. All right. So we're just going to go hit buy. Actually, we're going to go back here real quick and the conditional close order is this button right here. So we're going to hit that conditional close here and basically that allows us to pick stop loss, settle position, uh, limit, um, or take profit. We're just going to deal with uh, settle position or limit um, or stop loss in this case here. So the difference being is that a stop loss is going to trigger at market price. So you're going to get charged a higher fee for it, but it'll execute immediately and 99% of the time it's going to get filled uh, automatically because it's executing at a market price. A limit one, on the other hand, is going to be for an exact price. And if the market gets super, super volatile, there is a chance that somebody's not going to buy it for that exact price. And so it may not get filled. So that's what a limit one does. And then we've got settle position. Settle position is a little bit um, more difficult to explain, but it's basically the fact that when you short, or when you use leverage trade, you borrow from Kraken Exchange. And so a settle position means that instead of giving that Bitcoin back, you're going to pay for the Bitcoin you borrowed and you're going to end up with Bitcoin in your account. So if you're using, say, $10,000 in USD and you short with $10,000, and the price goes in the opposite direction and triggers your settle position, then you're not going to get your USD back. You're going to have paid for that Bitcoin that you borrowed and you're going to get Bitcoin back. So that's the difference on settling a position. But with settle position, you don't get charged any fees because you are settling your debt, uh, so to speak. So that's the benefit to settle position is that if you don't mind having the Bitcoin, then you can just settle position and you can get away from those fees um, associated with, say, uh, your stop loss. So and that's what settle position is. It's not something that I really have ever used, um, but it's a that's a, the definition for it at least. So you can see if that fits into your strategy accordingly. Uh, when I'm going to go in this case, I'm going to do stop loss, and we're going to set that stop loss price. Well, you're going to see this little tab right here by the price. All that does is it changes it so that you can go in between U.S. dollar or percent. So if you want to work off of just a percent basis, you can say I want my stop loss triggered when we hit 1.5 percent. In the in the hole when I am when it's going one and a half percent in the wrong direction, that's where I want to set my stop loss at. Uh, vice versa, you can do it from a U.S. dollar amount. You can say, look, if I am buying Bitcoin, I'm I'm on a limit order for a long position at ninety three hundred dollars. If it goes down to ninety two eighty. I want my stop loss to trigger and I want to be out of that position. Okay, so you can do it from a U.S. dollar standpoint or from a percent standpoint. So let's go ahead and we're just going to place that 9280. We're going to head and we're going to go ahead and buy this and fill it. Okay, so now you can see on my order uh, book here, uh, I've got a buy order here for 92.40. Technically, it's got to come down six dollars, so I should probably change that so it can execute. So let's just go back.
Okay, we're going to put that 0.003 in there, uh, 92, whatever. And then, so 27 bucks, we're going to create that conditional close. We're going to make it a stop loss. We're going to put it in there for 92.80. Okay, and we're going to hit buy. We're going to confirm that buy. You can see here, we're not on any leverage right now. We went ahead and we bought that 0 0.03, and you can see it immediately sets a stop loss for 0 0.003 at 92.80. Okay, so now my stop loss is on the boards. You can see it over here. The little red dot is the stop loss. A uh, little uh, green dot here is the buy. Okay, so I bought 0 0.003 Bitcoin there, and it will sell here if the stop loss is triggered. So now you've basically set that stop loss and everything. So if you wanted to, you could do a limit order, and this is what's cool with the, with the conditional close, is that you can set a limit order. Say you want to buy Bitcoin down here at 91.27. So we could put a buy order for 91.27 down there. Right, well, let's change that. 91.27. And we could do a conditional close so that if we're away from the computer, we know that, hey, if Bitcoin goes down and picks up my 9127 order, but it just keeps falling and falling and falling, I know that I've protected myself by setting a stop loss at, say, $9,080. Okay, and so now you're going to put that buy in there. And you're going to confirm that buy. And you can see here my limit order is set for 91.27. And we know, because I just showed you guys the stop loss here, that the conditional close immediately executes and sets that stop loss on the order books the moment that this 91.27 is picked up. Okay, So we just bought 0 0.003 Bitcoin. And we have a stop loss for it. So now let me show you that was on no leverage. So you can now actually open up a short on leverage and you say we go 5x leverage here and we're going to do bitcoin 0 0.003 again okay we're going to do some bitcoin there 0 0.003 again okay and then we've got the us dollar amount here is going to be uh let's just say we want to short right now at market price okay so we're going to short that way we open up a position right now we're going to put that conditional close we're going to set that conditional close for a stop loss and we're going to set it up above our price so let's say 9330 and we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell this now and we're going to confirm that sell we're on 5x leverage and boom you can see here sell boom so now i have a sell stop loss and I have a buy stop loss set and i've boxed myself in okay now you can also a little trick here too is that you can also set these stop losses for instead of 0 0.003 but you could do 0 0.006 you could do twice as much and the reason for that is that if you know that this is your pivot point that says hey if bitcoin goes above this price it's just going to skyrocket another hundred dollars two hundred dollars five hundred dollars whatever it might be you can set your stop loss so in other words if you come down here and it picks up that 91.27 it buys it but let's say that Bitcoin just keeps falling, falling, falling. So all of a sudden, it's, it triggers your stop loss at 9,080. Well, you know that if it triggers your stop loss at 9,080, it's going to go down to 8,500. So you set a stop loss for twice as much as you actually have in an open position so that when it executes, the stop loss will open you up into a short position and now it push, and it's pushing to the downside. The only downfall to that is that you cannot set a, a conditional close um, on that stop loss if it triggers you into a short. So if you put it for twice as much or more than what your open position is and it puts you into a short or into a long, you can't set a stop loss on it. So you have to do that manually. You can still set a stop loss after you're in that position. You just have to do it manually. You have to be in front of the computer. Whereas with the conditional close, you don't. It'll just automatically, if it goes down here 91.27, I could be out you know, raking leaves, doing whatever, and it'll trigger, it'll set my stop loss, it'll protect me, and if it goes in the right direction, I make money, and if it doesn't, then I got myself protected and I manage my risk. So that's the, the, the pros to it um, and how you can set yourself up. So we're literally in a long position that's not leveraged right now, and then we're in a short position which is leveraged. And so by doing the proper math, you can set yourselves up so that it's equal on both ends, um, and you can basically play the position in either direction. So right now, if Bitcoin goes up, we're, we're making money, and we lose a little bit of money as the stop loss triggers on the short, but if Bitcoin keeps going up, we, we make that back very quickly. Vice versa, if it goes south, we're making money, plus we managed our risk and we get stopped out on our short or, or on our long position, and our short is making money on the way back down. So, anyways, I hope this video has helped you guys out. I think that's everything that we went over. We went over the conditional close, we went over settle position, and we went over um, uh, how to 
trade both sides and box yourself in with longs and short positions. So just some notes here on Kraken um, to take advantage of. Uh, as always, trade with you know proper risk management, you guys. Be safe. And it's not financial advice, just how, I'm, how I trade the market sometimes on Kraken Exchange. All right, best of luck.